Hello folks, this is Audio John 1003 and today is a very special uh, bell box video that I'm making because um, I've always wanted this company's uh, logo on one of my boxes and thankfully because of a, um, um, a gentleman called Adam who runs a business called, uh, now let's see, um, Sticky Business and the email address is, is this one, it's Sticky Sticky mail 247 sorry if it's hard to focus at gmail.com and what he does is he reproduces any scanned image onto vinyl stickers such as these and um, I've done a little bit of business uh, from this guy um, because I originally bought this sticker from eBay for about five or six pound and I subsequently had the idea that if I photographed other uh, Bellbox logos and gave him the dimensions, he could then reproduce other stickers that I needed. So earlier, he kindly reproduced a replacement sticker for my old bar alarm box that I previously featured in a video where it was all painted up and dirty. And uh, this is the quality. So I was very careful not to get any bubbles in there you might see a few but that's um, really really hard not to get them but they're not big and you'll see original raised lettering underneath that's because the original logo was printed on here in raised letters um, I'm not bothered about that because I wanted the original logo to be preserved so there's one example and this is the other one uh, which he's done, uh, which I've, I'm in the process of peeling off to replace with this. This is a East Midlands electricity board. This was around in the 90s and uh, this is one of their security system stickers that originally went on boxes that were, uh, well, basically um, like this one. So I'm going to put this sticker here onto that box and then show you what it looks like um, there are three versions because when I photograph the original alarm box on someone's house we couldn't make out um, what this wording was so at first we thought maybe it didn't exist then we thought maybe it's red uh, sorry black and then finally uh, we decided or I decided it was actually red so he's made these for me uh, they're vinyl stickers, um, so they're very thin once you peel them off the backing. But I promised I would support him in my video, and uh, in this case I would show you guys out there who are thinking about getting reproduction stickers printed for your own bell boxes. This is actually the, the dimensions I gave him. Bearing in mind there are different sized faces to different styles of C-Class box so that's why I've got two there so once again um, it's uh, it's sticky fixes uh, sorry sticky business sticky fixes that's something else and um, and this is uh, and this is um, the flyer he always sends with instructions on how to apply, apply these things so without further ado I'm going to pause the video and um, and put my sticker on the yellow box and show you what it's like Okay, folks, I've uh, I've managed to do that. It took some uh, patience, and uh, I was a little bit hot under the collar because I've waited 30-ish years for this sticker because the original firm uh, wouldn't let me have one of these. Uh, you might find my camera shaking slightly. That's because I was slightly nervous about putting this on because the sticker itself is slightly too long for this particular box. I gave the uh, uh, I gave Adam three different um, dimensions and uh, he chose this one so I was a little nervous. I've had to peel it off once and put it back on and he warned me about this really fine lettering that he does which is hollow. It's sort of a very thin outline of each letter on yellow vinyl and I didn't want to rub that off so I had to use a section of old sock 
to sort of gently rub as I as I put the sticker on. But anyway, this is it. This is my uh, Eastman's Electricity Board um, bell box. Um, so uh, 29 years or so waiting for this box. It's going to go on the wall um, where it belongs, which will be. That's if I do this. Sorry about the fingers. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video once more and put the two boxes back where they belong and then, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to say goodnight to my uh, alarm box collecting. So I'll pause this one last time and show you it in position. OK folks, I've uh, managed to uh, put it up there. I noticed a few bubbles, so I, uh, I carefully tried to remove them near the centre, but uh, there they are. So even though in this light, sorry about that, even though in this light the, uh, the alarm box looks really faded, that's just because of the bright lights that I use. So if I uh, try and turn some lights off, it uh, might make it look a little darker. Um, so that's it. That's my uh, alarm box collecting days technically finished. I've got everything I've ever wanted. So uh, anyway, thank you Adam for this. Uh, this is uh, all down to you and your magic. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.